Hi, Citizen Voice at the World Climate Summit. The day is wrapping up, but we have a very exciting guest here. Uh, Seth has just become the latest Cool Planet skier, and he's a world-class snowboarder. Seth, introduce yourself and tell us about your love for, for what you do. Sure. Uh, my name is Seth Westcott. I grew up in rural Maine. Um, I still live in Carabasset Valley at the Sugarloaf Ski Area. Uh, I've been a part of the U.S. snowboarding team for 17 years and on world tour for 20 years now. Uh, Two-time Olympic gold medalist in uh, 2006 and 2010 and world champion from 2005. Uh, my real, I just, I mean, growing up in Maine, I think for me, um, fostered the love and ability to have access to being on snow all the time. Um, and so as I've grown and been able to travel the world and um, experience, you know, the majority of the world's mountain ranges, um, it just became apparent to me what was going on with climate change when you see it firsthand like that all the time. And so then having the platform of the Olympic success um, to be able to use my voice to talk about the things that I've seen and how it's important that we make changes, that we have a more sustainable planet, um, has just become a, a passion of mine. So, so you're an example of uh, an ordinary citizen with an extraordinary skill yeah. making a difference in something that you don't have to do. No, but it's it's something that, you know, it's been my passion since I was a young child. So I don't know if I could say I don't have to do it because it's what I've based my entire life around. I'm doing it because it is my passion. And so in that way, I couldn't not do it. Yes. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, yeah, we, you know, I think all of us um, as human beings have a responsibility to try to leave this place better um, for the next generation than we found it and so we're really up against the idea of realizing that um, our systems of how we've traveled and created energy and done things um, for the last well really since the start of the industrial revolution aren't uh, maintainable um, practices and so we really are at a turning point now where we need to find alternatives and find new sources of energy and ways that um, that we can continue to this power power our human existence here because um, because otherwise our human existence won't last that much longer if we don't make these changes. It's that serious. Yeah. And do you think uh, gatherings like this and individuals uh, getting inspired is going to make the kind of difference that we need? Um, I think so. I don't think it's a two-week process. <laughs> um, but I think that, you know, getting world leaders together like this um, to bring recognition to the fact that we have to make these changes is truly important and that um, as individuals we just have to keep fighting the good fight every day and eventually we'll, um, we'll get to a place where we can make change. <coughs> yes. and so my question about the, how do, you, how do you stay ahead of those young people in your sport because you know those guys are like you know crazy wild and yeah. they're 22 years old. I know. I, uh, some of the young kids on tour, we've been jokingly playing around with me for the last couple of years. We've got a young kid who's really talented out of uh, Australia that I've actually been on tour longer than he's been alive. So um, he likes to call me grandpa, and that's fine. Um, no, it's just, it's all good, and I, I have such a passion for the sport. Um, I had an injury right before the Sochi Olympics that um, had I been healthy and gone to Sochi, I might be done already at this point, um, but I didn't want to let the injury... Um, be the final chapter on what I was doing and so it's taken a couple years to get truly healthy again and um, and I'm working to try to go back for another Olympic game. One more so Olympics in, in, yeah. in Korea. In Korea. Wow. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Well thank you so much and for being a representative of, of our mission of Absolutely. bringing people together through the things that they love Yeah. and you demonstrate that in spades plus to me you're young but yeah. in your sport I know you're not <laughs> and so as a 67 year old athlete yeah. Uh, you're kind of a hero for me now. Right on. Thank you. Yeah. No, and I, um, you know, I always get inspired just by people being active. Both my parents were, um, you know, were lifelong athletes. And I, um, I think it's using your body um, is about the most important thing that you can do um, to stay healthy and maintain a, a quality of life. And so, you know, I've, that's been kind of one of my one of my causes lately is in talking to kids and especially as um, you know the generations of kids now that have always grown up around computers around smartphones um, I think it's important for them to realize that they have to get outside into nature and um, and learn to use their bodies because otherwise they'll never be healthy
Well, when you hang up your board, come yeah. and ski the Berkey. I'll Absolutely. keep the Berkey healthy. <laughs> you keep your body going well, and we'll do we'll do some uh, long distance skiing. Very cool. Thank you, Paul. It's Thanks, a pleasure Ed. to talk to you.